Hi, my name's Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. So it's a snowy week here in Indiana, as I think that most of the country is undergoing some winter weather. So we're expecting one of our snowiest days, mm, like in top 10 snowy days ever. So that's fun, huh? So instead of concentrating on the snow outside, we're gonna continue celebrating celebration and look at a nice, fun summary set today. Um, so today's celebrate celebration set that we're going to kind of focus on is Berry Blessings. Now, it's one of the ones, if you place an order with me through February 1st to the 16th, then you'll, any size order, then you'll go into a drawing to either win this set or the Party Punch set, which I featured that last week. Um, so, and I'm going to keep doing some more celebration things maybe halfway through this week, maybe to Thursday or so. Um, I was supposed to have my stamp camp this week, but I've already moved it because we're expecting another snowstorm. So, you know, it is what it is. We've gone a nice little spate of years here where I have not timed my camps to hit snowstorms, but the streak has now ended. Um, so today we're going to do this Berry Blessings. Here's the little stamp set. Now, I have something else to share with you. I do have, I'm going to offer a little mini class with this. So it's going to be a fun little mini, a mini class, three cards, and there's three different ways you can participate. And one of them does include this stamp set. So it's just $35. It includes the stamp set, the supplies to make three cards, the videos, um, shipping, all of it. So it's really inexpensive. You'll get the stamp set. You don't get the paper. We will use the paper that comes with because if you get this as a free celebration choice, you get all the 12 by 12 paper, which is fabulously beautiful and very summer, summery and cheerful. Um, but I don't have the paper. I have a lot of stamp sets. I say a lot, but um, I only have enough to do that many. If you've already earned it and you just want the cards, then again, it's even cheaper. Or if you've already earned it and you have it all and you just want the videos. So it's going to be a real, it's kind of like a pop-up class. I've never done them before, but I have a whole bunch of these. And I want to be able to pass it on. And for those of you that have never done a class with me, it'll be a fun little way for you to kind of see what they're like in a sped up version. Kind of like my speedy little videos, <laughs> but not the videos will be normal. Um, so we're going to do that. So let me show you that it, this coordinates with a, a stamp and a punch that are in the catalog and the stamp and the punch. I'll pull those in later um, on right now, I think the punch is on back order, but that kind of does the strawberry. This does the blackberry, raspberry, blueberry combination, as does the paper. It, the paper pulls in both. So this is one of the cards, and there's a tutorial up for this on my channel already. Um, you're going to see a couple of sneak peeks here. So then the reason I have so many sets and not any paper is because in my try it class, and this is the January to June try it class that we did earlier this year. Um, this was the card that they did. You don't often get to see my class cards, but we used so much of the paper and I didn't really think it through because it was longer than um, six by six and it's a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. So this was one of their projects and it used a ton of paper. So I had to get a ton of paper and then it was all gone. Um, and then I was left with this. So what happens if you buy this stamp set, because I've heard people say they didn't want to pick it because when the paper was gone, they couldn't use their set. But we buy stamp sets all day, every day. They don't come with paper. So don't think that you have to have that paper because this doesn't even have a strawberry in it. Um, you don't have to have the paper to make cards with it because we often buy stamp sets that don't have matching paper. So today I'm going to show you what happens. Or And this could be like a card that we'll make in the, in the class. Um, and I'll have that class link underneath the video and it'll be on my class page on my website. It'll be in my email. Um, and it will fill up because it's a super good deal because $35 gets the stamp set shipping everything. So if you're interested, don't hesitate because it will be, it'll fill up quickly. Um, at least the part that comes with these. So I'm going to show you what to do. Here's, this is the artistry blooms, some purple posy and some blackberry bliss. Cause if you're going to make a blackberry card, that makes an easy color choice, right? Um, I love this paper. This is artistry blooms and I've used it a lot. Here's one on my channel and this could not be a simpler card because the paper does all the work for you. You just stamp those mountains on there and it's already shaded. So that's the paper. Here's another card. I'm going to show you another card from my try it class because I, when you take a try it class, we really focus on the paper. And this is the card that we did with the Artistry Blooms paper 
whenever that try it class was. I guess it was the new catalog for this. So let's get going on this card. We're gonna just use the blackberries. Um, I might come back and do another blueberry card. We'll see. Got a lot to do this week. So many free stamps to concentrate on. So let's start by our base will be blackberry. And um, if I was, when I give this card, if I was giving it to somebody, I would cut another piece of purple posy and put it on the inside because blackberry is one of those ones that's hard to write on or get the white gel pen and write with that. So I'm gonna use this for the base. And be, when you use these um, pieces that kind of have the colors like this, I always start with where I want my words to be because I'm gonna stamp those first. And I think it's easier to see if I go for this little bit of a lighter color down here. So I'm gonna do those in black gonna pull one of the sayings out of the set and it says you always have a way of making my day so I'm gonna stamp that down here in the corner and I the artistry blooms paper is one of my favorites in the catalog so got that and then this is a fun little it's a two-step stamp set so let's go let's put the berries on here first so it has this the fill in for the berries. So I'm gonna do those in blackberry. Again, obvious color choice. Doesn't take a whole lot of thought to decide what color to make these. So I'm gonna stamp the little fill ins here in blackberry. And just kind of random, go different directions. The leaves on this would almost kind of work. You could, I think you could use the, the, blueberries and the leaves almost to make like a wine card too if you wanted so just kind of stagger those so we've got that then for the leaves on this I'm just going to kind of keep with these tones so for the leaves I'm going to stamp those on this purple posy and there is a fill in for that but I'm going to do something else with it so I'm just going to stamp some leaves I'm gonna do two of them in the blackberry. And then I'm gonna do two of them in the razzleberry, which isn't gonna be a huge difference in tone, just a tiny bit. And not even enough that it bothers me to clean my stamp. But see, it just is a just a tiny bit of a tone difference. So I have those. And then I'm going to use the little stem. And again, it has a two-step option. I'm just going to use the little fill-in and I don't care that I get all the way to the top of it. So I'm gonna kind of stamp off like this. And then just add stems. And because, oh, I did pretty good on that one. I was gonna say they're gonna be off because I'm not gonna stick my head right over the top. Because you guys don't wanna see the top of my head, you wanna see the stamping. I'm just kind of, this is more an artistry kind of blackberry. This, I'm not going for realistic on this. I'm also not pushing, I'm trying to not push the whole way down on that. So that way it's not getting that stem because I don't want giant sticks all over my card. Although it kind of reminds me of when you go pick these things, you kind of get stuck by them. And then it has this little fill in where you're gonna get the definition. It has one for the leaves too, but they're gonna get a, lot, a covered up, so I didn't bother. And again, these might be really off because I'm not gonna put my head on that. See, that one's really off. But I'm gonna show you it doesn't matter because we're kind of going for that graphic design and anytime you buy a shirt or a, a tablecloth or anything that has this graphic design, if you look, most of the time, their things are not right on top of each other either. Because it's just kind of a, you're going for the look, not the perfection. If you want it to be perfect, by all means, take a couple of seconds. And mine, where my head was over the top, it's a little bit more perfect. But when the card's all put together, you're not going to notice. And I'm going to take these. There's no die for this. So you have to go old fashioned fussy cutting, but that also makes it easy for me to do the little mini class because you don't have to have a punch. You don't have to have a die cut. You just have to have some colored inks and the colors that you need 
for the class are posted on my website. Um, and then you'll need maybe a Stella. So for this, I like when this paper, you can kind of see that it has um, like texture in the paper. And for, where's my mountain card? On this one, we used one of the texture things and it kind of raises that white part up. On this one, I'm gonna use the new one. It's the one that comes with the, the fuck, name blank, the floral stuff. The suite that has the gilded stuff in it in the catalog. I can't think of the name of it right now. All the supplies will be underneath this card. But it just kind of highlights that paper and gives it more of a, a watercolor, like you painted it look, as opposed to it's just a, it's a designer series paper look. So I'm going to put that through here. And see what I mean? It just kind of crinkles the paper. And then I'm also going to do it with these leaves because it's going to give them a little bit more definition. And it kind of brings them to life. You don't have to do this step. I just kind of like it. It does get, um, because this paint, the paint, because this ink is a darker ink, you'll have to take something and wash, wash that off unless you let it dry a second longer. You can see how it got my leaves on there. It makes your folder pretty. Now it has leaves on it. But if you do a white piece of cardstock through there and you don't take the time to fix that. And I'm gonna trim these out just with my scissors. And then I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to show you how to cut this last one. I've cut three of them out. Um, but when you're doing something like this, especially because they're not going to be a white background, move your cardstock. Don't move your scissors and just kind of like kind of follow the, the outline of the leaves. But you don't even have to be perfect. You're just kind of making it jaggedy just like those leaves are. And it's so much easier. See, I'm holding my scissors still and moving my paper. It just is a lot easier. It's quick. It doesn't take a long time. And see, it It looks like I followed the pattern of the leaves, but I didn't. And then those just took a couple seconds to cut out. I just didn't want you to have to watch all of them. Now, you could leave those just like that, or you cannot because it's so much fun to do this next step. So I have an empty one of Stella. And then this is the shimmer paint, which is almost empty too. It's the champagne mist because I've been on a little kick. We did this in my retreat. Um, and I've just been doing it a lot recently. So just get a little bit on the end. You can do it with a full wink of Stella if you have a full one. But look what happens. It's magic with these darker colors of ink. It pulls the ink that's from all of the, the edges and it just blends it. So you, you still have the definition because there's so much ink on these that didn't get pressed onto my folder. Isn't that lovely? It's like those little coloring books that we had as, as children where we would color with water and color would just magically appear. It doesn't take any talent. You just literally rub this on here. And that's why I did two in the blackberry and two in the razzleberry. Because there'll be ever so slightly a color difference in the um, two different leaves. We'll see if we can notice. It would help too if I cleaned my brush, but you know, I'm trying to beat the snow. <laughs> and sometimes you just can go fast. Those might be the razzleberry, we'll see. And just keep, you just need to make sure that your brush stays wet. And that had a bunch of razzleberry on it. I think this is the blackberry, but my pen already has razzleberry. But this um, color combination of ink over here, or paper, I mean, with these, isn't it pretty? And there is, I intentionally went with no colors that are in that paper. Because for all of you that are thinking, I would love to choose that celebration thing. But what happens when I run out of that paper? We're not even using colors that are included in those papers. This is completely its own thing. How beautiful is that? Those are just pretty on their own. And then when you go to, you do want to clean this off before you put it back in your thing. Otherwise, if you forget, the next time when you go to use this, you'll get purple. And if you didn't want purple, and if, as long as you keep the lid on this, I have some of these Stellas that we've used at, you know, when I've had large events. Remember when we used to do such things called large events? Um, I probably have 30 of these 
going back for, for as long as we've had Wink of Stella's that are empty. And as long as you have the lid on, they make a fabulous paintbrush. So just keep them empty, get one of these, or get one of these. This is our Frost White. And I wanna give, see how this has little bits of lighter pieces in the paper? And also the reason why I didn't care if these were incredibly lined up. So I'm gonna take the Frost White. This time I'm gonna not smudge it because it will cover up the, um, the black. And just add, it dries a little bit lighter than what it looks. I'm just gonna add some highlights of white to kind of mimic those little pieces that are in the paper. And just on some of the little nubbies of my blackberries. And it just adds kind of a shimmer, but it's definitely more of a paint than the, the champagne mist is see-through. And in, um, those of you that did the retreat, this is the one that was in our sh our spritz bottle. But you can add both of them to a, a spritz bottle. We did it with the magenta. So it was a super fun, sparkly, bright pink. So I'm just gonna, instead of cleaning my brush, I'm just gonna get it all off while I'm on here. And once it's almost gone, then you can just kind of, there's not so much on here now that it won't cover this up. There we go. So you can see now, it's just added a little bit of, see how it's got these little white bits in the paper? I didn't want those to look like they were on top of my paper. I wanted it to look like they were part of it. And so now since we've added that white back, now it looks like they're part of it. So now let's just put all this together. Super easy card, huh? So let's put this on here. And the um, shimmer paints dry really quickly. So mount this on here. This doesn't need any other kind of layering because I really didn't want to detract from this gorgeous paper. And it's cut four by five and a quarter. You could do five and a half. Um, but like I said, I was trying to find um, a piece of paper that would match. My other one is five and a um, quarter because these were two scraps left from another project. So now I'm gonna take this ribbon, and this is from the ice cream suite that is currently in the, uh, the mini catalog. It's really pretty. It, uh, the ice cream stamp set looks like it's kind of cutesy and fun. The font of those sentiments is beautiful and elegant. Like the happy birthday is a really elegant font. All of the font is. Um, and this ribbon is really kind of elegant. So if you haven't paid attention because you're like, I'm not going to get an ice cream cone, go back and take a second look at it. Um, even if you just look at the pieces of it. Because like you might not want the sprinkles, you might not want the ice cream cone punch, but you might find that the ice cream cone stamp set for the sentiments alone and for on the rare occasion then that you might use it um, is worth it. And this ribbon is beautiful, but that's where I got it from. So I'm just going to tie a regular bow and then cut this off. And then I'm gonna use my Seal Plus. I'm gonna kind of mount my bow here. This holds a little tighter than the seal. You could use a glue dot. Just make sure this is even. Stick this here, kind of arrange it. And then I'm gonna put these on with dimensionals. And you just don't want them all to go the same direction. And they can go off the edge of the card, which is nice because my card is a quarter inch shorter than I might've wanted it. But you know, you have what you work with. Kind of like if you run out of the paper, keep saving that paper and just work with it how you, how you have it until it's gone. I'm gonna fix the ribbon after I'm done with these so I can kind of arrange it how, you don't want all your leaves going the same direction. So make sure every time you add one, and I don't necessarily wanna see all those little stems. So I have a double purpose. Don't put my leaves going the same direction and don't and hide some of those little stems. Some of them you can hide with the ribbon as well or the sequins that we're gonna add in a second. And let's do one on the other side. Absolutely no reds, blues, granny apple greens, 
or any of the colors that you thought you might have to have because if you were gonna run out of that paper, you could never use the stamp set. Now we're gonna take this and add a little bit of this over here. And kind of wind that around and that will hold it. Again, you can use glue dots if you don't have this. Put that there. And if you tuck those under just a tad, those leaves, it'll help them stay. There we go. And then the um, Artistry Blooms sequins. I think I have a full pack. Here's another little tip for you. I have these little jars and every time I get down to where there's not much left in my embellishments, I just throw them in here. And I've been using a ton of them recently. So here's the Artistry Blooms sequins. It's especially good for like all the little charm things that don't have, here's three of that color. But then they just sit here. They also make me happy because it looks cute. I have another one that I keep glue dots in. And then let's just add these. Just a fun little bit of sparkle. And then you don't have giant things of embellishment sheets that kind of get stuck. When there's not very many left on them, they can get stuck on themselves. You can do a little, the little half size mason jars work. You know, the little tiny ball ones. I like this because I don't have to unscrew anything. And if it has a lid, my cat doesn't think that he can take them because he likes embellishments and little bits of string. Let's stick one here. There you go. So I hope that you like this. I hope that if you have wanted the stamp set um, and you didn't think, this is bothering me. I didn't know that you can tell that it's bothering me. I'm gonna put a glue dot on there before I take the photo of it and straighten that up. Cause with a glue dot, you can work a lot of ma magic, but this one should be there. <laughs> Here's my other one. It went on its own there. But if you're interested in taking the class, do sign up quickly because I think I have maybe 10-ish hmm, of the stamp sets. So they'll go like this book, especially since I made it nice and inexpensive for you. Um, and then I won't have, once the stamp sets are gone, I probably won't hold the registration open for the other parts of the class very much past that because it's just a mini class. It was just kind of spur of the moment. Oh, I'll do this. And so if you're interested, sign up and don't forget that you can, I'm gonna put my pretty bow one on top. Um, if you place an order for the 16th, you can go into a drawing to maybe win the stamp set and then you could just take the card portion of the class for free. Everybody have a great day. Bye.